Hey guys, I'm back from my holiday. I've uh, been re-energizing myself and I now feel ready to record some more SD games. And the one we're going to have a look at this time is called Quartz, published by Firebird in 1988. And it's actually a game that one of you guys wanted me to have a look at. And I can't quite remember who it was, sorry. But it's a shoot 'em up game and I've never played it before. I kind of vaguely remember the name, but I don't remember ever seeing it or ever even seeing any ads or reviews for it. So let's just dive in. And the game's got a really nice looking uh, loading screen by Herman Serrano. Uh, he also made the actual cover art for the game box and the ad as well, I think. A really amazing artist and he also designed Weird Dreams, I think. That weird game, adventure game or whatever you want to call it. That's really kind of... Um, I mean, it's really good looking, but it plays like a bag of bricks or something. It's, it's not great. <laughs> it looks amazing, though. We might have a look at that at some point. Ah, the load times were pretty bad here. But here we have it, Quartz 1988. And this is actually the 160th uh, SD Quick Look video. So yeah, I'm quickly nearing 200. And uh, we might do something special then. Not sure what exactly yet, but yeah, let's see what happens. But we've got some nice music going here by Wally Beban, who also did the music for Foundations Waste and a couple of other games. R-Type, really good stuff. And uh, yeah, I haven't found the manual for this one and I've really no idea what's going on here. So, Shoot Hadrons. Oh yeah, we've got balls. Yes, this game quite originally has balls that we need to shoot. Quite unheard of, right? <laughs> Why can I not escape the balls of doom? I don't know what, why, but yeah, it's it's apparently a bit like ooh, um, asteroids, ballroids maybe we should call it. Ballroids is a pretty good name for a game. So we're supposed to shoot the balls and they turn into smaller balls that we pick up and do god knows what with. And Jesus, it's big balls everywhere, or many balls and big balls. I'm growing tired of saying the word balls, to be perfectly honest. No! Oh god, this is... And the controls are directional, so it's nothing... Not like the tank stuff. Oh, go away. No, please. Oh man. So many balls. And I don't really know what we're supposed to do, apart from blowing up all these... Um, being dragged off, of course. Alright. The Atomic Zone. Okay. Well, that's different. Yeah, I don't know what we're supposed to do with all the... Uh, okay. Balls. I don't even want to say the word, but I did it anyway. Uh, not read the manual. We're just... Presumably just going to shoot stuff. And we got... Oh, we got ball meters to the right. Yeah, I didn't notice that. That's... Um, that's nice. Maybe we get more balls? Oh, shit. Oh, God. Wow, that was actually... Uh, Pretty cool effect. Continue attack, escape to latitude. I'm just gonna go back. Uh, yeah, I want I want to come back to to safety here. I'm just trying to defeat these balls. Ah, um, not sure what happened or what, what will happen when we get rid of all of them. Probably something incredible. And I don't know why I keep collecting these smaller mm, balls. I wish the sprite weren't so absolutely amazingly big. Select power up. More balls, fire, or stars. Let's do fire. Fire is, is good. Uh, select the slot to switch. So I press space, and now I have fire. That's um, great, I guess. Oh, yeah, I have no idea what's going on, but this seems to be. A little bit more effective. Oh, I think I'm cleaning up the place here. Only one big ball left. Well, maybe two. Let's collect... Oh, the tiny balls. And I'm being dragged off course again. Ah, oh, balls. Quite literally. But yeah, it looks oh, looks very nice. It's got this um, cool para parallax scrolling effect, which is pretty damn awesome for an SD game. I mean, the playing field is quite tiny, 
but still, this looks cool. And uh, to be honest, it's, I mean, quite fun to play. Destroying balls. Um, oh, Jesus. It's fun, apparently. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know why I did that, but let's conti continue to attack. Select the power up. Let's do get the star. That's probably good. Gimme, give gimme. Give oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is good. Yeah, this is actually not terrible. It's pretty good. It's, I mean, probably hasn't aged that well, you know, all things considered. But back in the day, it would probably have been absolutely okay with this ball carnage. And I'm not sure what I'm going to, or what, what I can pick up and what I need to stay away from. Oh god, there's centipede balls! It's pretty quick. And again, I would have preferred if the sprites, or at least my ship, was a little bit smaller. And what the hell is that? Destroy the nucleus, eh? Yeah. I'm trying. Wish I had my wonderful fire power up or mega ball power up. No, don't touch me, you filthy bunch of balls. Uh, can I hold the fire button? Of course I can't, because this is a, an 80s shoot 'em up and yeah, you need to buy an auto fire joystick to be able to not have to smash your buttons to death. Not sure if I'm doing the right thing here. Seems like I'm hitting stuff. Oh, stop touching me, please. And again, why? Why do you do this? Yeah, this is quite fun. I, I still think so, even though I'm screwing up here. Oh, come on, blow up before my finger dies on me here. Come on, you nucleus bastard. Stop existing. Yeah, I'm hitting the damn thing. I need to be closer, apparently. And avoid these super annoying, whatever they are, tiny. Yeah, I'm not even, not even going to say it. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, things are heating up. It's going to be a thermonuclear release here soon enough. And I think my finger is probably going to maybe die before that happens on my keyboard. Whatever comes first, just please. Can't you read critical mass soon? Yes! Oh god, that was actually... that actually hit me. Ah, I'm thinking I've reached another stage here. Oh, now we're getting other evil things that are not balls, so that's quite refreshing. Refreshing! Sorry, I can't speak. I'm so excited about all these balls. Let's uh, go with that thing. Um, yeah, maybe that was, was a bit useless, I don't know. Can I collect those things? Those cluster, ball clusters? I don't know. No, no, dear God, stop it. You really should try and focus on uh, one ball at a time, I guess. Uh, because there's not a lot of space going on here. Oh God, please don't annihilate my future here. And I haven't even properly looked at the right side of the screen here to figure out what those ball meters are doing. Because I'm so busy trying not to die. Oh, don't drag me off, cause you... You void. Oh, dear God. Oh, it's, it's, it's doing different things. This is... Yeah, I'm liking this. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, wow, cool. Scaling. I mean, probably pre-scale, but yeah, stop. Stop collecting every asteroid. I was going to say ball there, but that was actually an asteroid, so yeah. Asteroids. Yeah, I'm liking this. This is not bad at all. Let's just play a little bit more. And look at that. I'm actually getting better at it. That's refreshing. And I still like the graphics, I must say. They look really nice with that parallax background going on. Really impressive, although the screen is, yeah, the screen real estate is pretty small. I'm not sure if this is SDE enhanced. I don't think it was as far as I could see. So this is running on a bog standard ST. What is a little bit annoying is that 
even with directional controls, it still has to spin around. You know, the ship has to spin around when I change direction. That leaves plenty of time for me to be bald in the face. And we have reached the atomic zone yet again. Filled with more balls that are spinning around and making my life miserable. These things, I can't... Oh god, I can't shoot them. Um... Yeah, let's just try it for a little bit longer. I like that the game is quite liberal with the amount of lives you have. You don't die immediately. Yeah, the controls are pretty solid, although maybe a bit sensitive at times, and the turning around bit is a little bit frustrating, but yeah, okay. This is, um... Oh dear. Pretty solid control-wise. Oh, I get extra lives. Nice. Or maybe I... I think I got one. Prepare to destroy the annoying nucleus. Ah, the bunch of balls. But I should be able to learn the patterns of these mini balls. Although I'm still having a hard time navigating around them. Yeah, the ship is the size of a small country. Yes, we achieved critical ball mass and we also died immediately. Oh, crap. Yeah, it's very um, inspired by asteroids, really, isn't it? But, yeah... I don't think we really got a good version of asteroids on the ST, or did we, maybe? Um, don't remember ever playing one. Uh, no official ones, anyway. Yeah, it definitely feels like I'm uh, getting better at navigating around this maze of balls. Ooh, hang on. Uh, what's that? Oh! Uh, wasn't prepared for that, so I think I got bold again there. I'm probably missing some things there, I'm guessing. Could not find the manual. Well, I didn't maybe try to find it that that hard, but yeah. I just felt like playing an SD game and not spend forever looking for information about stuff. I just want to play a game and have some fun today. Ah, oh, Atomic Zone. I despise you. Let's get that thing, whatever it is. Grenade? Oh. Oh, we've got grenades. Only one? I would love to use that against my... Um, against the boss. Oh, I can't disable it for some reason. Can't I just say, no, I don't want to spend my... my grenades? Oh, I can. Good, 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 good. Oh, I get another power-up. Let's just do the... Uh, Repair thinging. Yep, that's good. And let's just pick my lovely grenade. Oh, shouldn't waste it. Let's grenade the balls. Yeah, that was super oh, effective. And I lost my... Oh, well, never mind. I was a little bit too optimistic about the power of my grenade there. And we have arrived at the second level. And... Yeah, I just blew up. It happens, you know, it's... Yeah, the graphics looks really nice and they do scroll really smoothly and now I'm just collecting damage. I don't know why I insist on doing that, but yeah. Certainly a crowded place this. Select power up. Sure thing. Let's get that one and let's just activate it. So I can destroy all the evil balls of doom and grab all their lovely mini balls for whatever reason. I'm not sure if they are fueling my power-ups maybe or something. I really don't know. Again, I'm too busy surviving to really have a look at the... Uh, ah, the HUD. Let's go into the void. Uh, let's go with that one. Oh, Jesus. Oh, this is so hard dodging this. Uh, kind of weird, but looks pretty damn cool. Please, please, please. No more. Oh, no. Uh, can I? I'm not sure what's going on. I don't want to trash my flame. Come on. I think I have to. Ah, oh, this is sad. What's going on here? Come on. Hello. I'm not sure what happened there. It seemed like the game forced me to get rid of one of my power-ups here. That's just sad. No, not the giant asteroids again. Oh, we've even got turrets now. That's 
Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I've got to say, I, I enjoy this. It's uh, surprisingly fun and, again, maybe hasn't aged that well, but definitely better than many other shooters on the ST. So uh, let's have a look at a couple of reviews and see what other people thought. Ace gave the game an Ace rating and gave it 905 mystery points, and they write, The soundtrack is perhaps this version's strongest aspect. Fast-moving, bouncy and everything else an action game theme should be. Can't wait for the CD single. And interestingly enough, they actually consider the music on the Amiga version to be uh, inferior compared to the ST. It happens sometimes, what can I say? <laughs> SC Format gave it a slightly lower rating at 75% and they write Quartz is a good mixture of game styles that work together to produce a very addictive game which should keep you blasting away for many a long hour. Strap-on weapons are always a good thing to help keep you interested in a game and uh, strategy comes into play in choosing which weapons with which to equip yourself. And of course they also really like the music by Wally Beeman which uh, really is rather nice actually. And with that, we are going to end the video, and I'm just going to say thank you for watching, and hope you enjoyed, and uh, of course, hope to catch you in the next video. Cheers!